not a leveler. Stay tuned. All right, let's just talk about some simple leveling and stabilizing. Over the last few weeks, I've witnessed firsthand damage done by folks who just apparently don't understand. So this is for everybody just to give you a quick two minute, three minute deal on how to set up your travel trailer when you get to your site. Okay, first things first, and let me be clear here. Those little boogers right there, you got four of them, they're for stabilizing, not for leveling. What they, they're not for pulling it up and figuring, oh, I'll get it level with, the, with these. That's not what they're intended for. They're only intended to stabilize the trailer once it's level side to side, front to back. Now there's a few ways that you can level. First of all, you wanna level side to side first. So we've got a little two foot level and we put it inside the door or we put it inside the basement on the uh, whichever side, it doesn't make any difference. And we start with side to side leveling. And we use these Camco levelers, the same as Anderson levels, so you can use, and we also have the blocks, um, the, uh, the orange blocks that work great too. These are just quick and easy for us, so this is what I use. So it's always side to side first. All right, there's my two foot level. It goes inside the basement. I can also put it inside the, the door, but it's just as easy to put it inside here. Um, I throw it down there. You can see right now it's money on because you know I already did it. But what we do is we determine which side needs to come up, which side um, needs to have the levelers put on it. So um, this, when we pulled up to this site, it needed the driver's side to come up maybe an inch or so. So what I did is I just put the, the the cam goes down, the yellow portion of them down, and then I pulled it the trailer ahead with my truck, and then I checked the level and to see if that I was I was right on. And you put the little gray ones, the gray on the backside to keep it from rolling off those levelers, and perfect. Okay, so we're now we're level side to side. Pretty simple. At the time, these stabilizers. And that all four stabilizers, none of them are down yet. We don't put any of those stabilizers down until later. Now, after I have the side to side done, then I typically will throw in my wheel chocks. I'll throw my X blocks in or my X chocks in. I got X chocks on both sides. Um, cause that way, cause I know it, I don't need to move the, the trailer front and back anymore. Um, it's all done front and back is I'm done moving it, but now I need to level it front and back. Simple deal to level it front and back. I take it off the pickup. I put it on uh, this little uh, block that I bought uh, on Amazon. Also, I'll, I'll toss in a couple links in this uh, whole video for uh, the kind of the products that we use uh, for like the Camco levelers, this, this little jobby here that goes underneath the uh, electric tongue jack, um, and even those little squares that I've got underneath it just they're way lighter than using you know blocks of wood although I do use a lot of wood um, uh, in the in the back or in the front depending on which is the highest or the lowest so what we do then is once we get it level front to back then I come you know I, I have to use the level again because I know they sell some of those little guys that you can put up here on the tongue you know and they've got a, a little leveler that It'll sit like right here with a level this way and a level this way. They work okay. They're just not as, um, as accurate as like a, a two foot level. This is one of my carpenter levels that I use uh, for work. And so you can see, you know, we're money on right here. So we're, we're, it's level right now, so it's obvious. But, but we just go up and down or down whatever we need to come or up whatever we need to come. You have to have it off the truck first because obviously I can pick your truck up or push it any lower. So that's it. So now I'm level, front to back, side to side, I'm all done. All 100% level. And then I take my, my blocks of wood. Now in the back, you can see this site slopes towards the rear of the trailer. So 
Uh, you can see that I've got four blocks of wood underneath the rear stabilizers. Those are on both, um, both sides. This is the other side, I've got, like I said, I got four blocks underneath there. Uh, you can see that it's right underneath exactly, you know, right underneath the, uh, the weighted part of the, um, of the stabilizer. And the, 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 these trailers and these stabilizers are designed, the, the longer you extend it, as a for instance, if I didn't have any blocks of wood underneath this and I went all the way down, that stabilizer gets so long and, and skinny that it doesn't do as good a job as when it's up closer, uh, pinched tighter like it is right there. So the, the, the ones that I've got to go the furthest with, um, I typically will put the wood blocks underneath it. And I use the drill method to put the stabilizers down. I just uh, grab the, my electric drill, my cordless drill, and I got that three quarter inch chalk on it. And I, like I said, once it's all level, then I put it down with these guys. And yeah, you could tweak it up eighth of an inch or something in one way or another but at that point it's typically not really necessary to do anything uh, one, you know once you're level you're level and it's never going to be exactly perfect um, unless it was a the only time I ever do it perfect is if I made a mistake and like I say we're all good secure everything's set up good I think it uh, might be time for a beer there's our uh, um, pleasure land that's where we bought our RV from. We actually, this is our second RV from these guys in less than two years. Great, great bunch of people. Super easy to deal with. So um, I think I'm done leveling and it's, uh, and I'm done putting the stabilizers down. So beer me.